just like leads to beat around the bush. I it? think that's, is it a stupider question? Like, who's who's asking Mississippi State if yeah. they're sleeping on that Well, Mississippi been? State has been on the business end of a couple of games when the Tide was coming off a loss, as you see here, and it has not gone well for them. But, they, look, the margin for error is gone. That's the biggest thing with this. Yeah, the other, the other Bulldogs have a shot at the get out of bounds. I'll tell you why. Okay. Number one, the Tide has an, an issue with the pass defense. And State can throw it, and then Ro Will Rogers is leading the nation in pass completion. But listen to this one. Coach Mike Leach, in his five in his career, has beaten AP top five teams five times. Alabama's number five. I say nothing. <laughs> the game is played in Stark Vegas at night, and the Bells. Cowboys, Bells. Alabama, watch out. Alabama, real, real, real close. Wow. Interesting. So you think the, the, these signs of trouble are real? Yes. Well, what I saw when I, I watched the game, I went back like everybody, watched the game a little closer on the defense. What I saw was Alabama defense of about three or four years ago when, when they weren't communicating, when the linebackers and the safeties, which is the integral part of Nick Saban's defense, weren't on the same page. Now, you can look at the defensive line and say they don't have playmakers, but truly, if you really know Alabama, it's about how they adjust. So you give them a formation, pre-snap movement, boom, 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 they're all on the same page. In this game, they weren't. They had busted coverage. They yep. weren't pressuring the quarterback. It was like, what has happened? This is supposed to be a defense that had experience, a defense that communicated. But here's the thing. A&M had the threat of running the ball with Isaiah Spiller. You had to respect that, so it affected your eyes. Mississippi State can't run the ball. They'll just tell you before the game starts. They're going to tell you before the game starts. <laughs> we're not here. To, we're not. We are not here to run the football. So because of that, Des, yeah, I, I, I understand that, that that Mike Leach can spin it around. Their quarterback's playing well, but without a threat of running, right. this Alabama defense is going to be back. Everyone's going to be saying how great they are. Yeah. They'll play fine because I just don't think Mississippi State has the balance to affect the eyes of that Bama D. Good point. The thing about Alabama losing is that now you see where your weaknesses are and you can make the corrections. And that's why I think that Nick Saban and his staff, they do a great job of making, you know, corrections, making adjustments, and now they know where the weaknesses are. They know how they're going to be attacked defensively. I believe offensively, though, too, they have to make sure that you win the battle in the trenches. I think that Texas A&M said, we're going to punch you in the mouth. We're going to see how you respond. And they didn't respond well, so they kept punching them in the mouth. When you have a young quarterback, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I'm throwing everything but the kitchen sink at you. See, people have too much respect for Alabama. So they come into that game already defeated mentally. The Aggies didn't have that type of respect. If Mississippi State is going to make this a game, they're going to have to compete in the trenches. That's what the Aggies did. No doubt, and I think Bryce Young and, and Bill O'Brien lost a lot of battles to Mike Elko. I thought they got confused up front. I didn't think they did a good job of that. Guess what? Bryce Young's a redshirt freshman. He's still growing. He's still developing. Bill O'Brien's still there for one year. I'll tell you what. I was reminded watching that offense last week. Because you see Williams out there, number one for Alabama. Yeah. How the heck good is Ohio State's receiving <laughs> yeah. core? My God, that guy's, coming, that guy's coming over uh -huh. there. You're like, the holy way, cow. By the way, if he didn't go there, it'd be in real big trouble without James Williams. Oh, I'm unbelievable. But, but Bryce Young will continue to grow, continue to figure it out. Bill O'Brien will be better. Mississippi State isn't the team that's going to threaten Alabama. I, I agree. Um, but we do, we do realize they're human. A lot more human than we've seen played, last year. Played at night in Stark Stark Vegas. Vegas. That's your cow with the bells. Uh, to, to, cow your, bell. to your point about Bryce, Bryce Young and Bill O'Brien, I went back and looked. 48 pass attempts. The last time, with all these great quarterbacks they've had, the last time Alabama threw it 48 times. It's my Aflac trivia question of the week. <laughs> uh, 2015 and a loss to Ole Miss. They lost 43-37. They had 59 attempts. It's the most since 2015. That's not who they are. That Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.